The thing is, I feel like I'm in a love-hate relationship with this keyboard. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Edward on another episode of Is It Worth Your Money series on Gamers Clinic. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my past 3 months experience with the recently released Linear Switches version of the Razer Huntsman Mini, a 60% minimalist keyboard in case you're currently deciding to get one. I'll first briefly go over the technical differences between this keyboard compared to the full-size Huntsman Elite Linear Switches version and then share with you what I liked and disliked about it. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated when I upload new videos and let's find out why that overall, I think that this is an excellent keyboard but probably not suitable for just anyone including me. When Razer announced the Huntsman Mini as their first 60% keyboards a few months ago, me, being curious as usual and also being mesmerized by the beauty of the minimalist appearance and aesthetics of 60% keyboards in general for quite a while already, decided to give the Huntsman Mini a try. Coming from a full-size keyboard, the first obvious difference would be the size, weight, and number of available keys. Weighing at 550 grams as opposed to approximately 1225 grams for the Huntsman Elite, it's 55% lighter and the weight difference is very noticeable especially if you are the type of gamer who angle or rotate your keyboard often to get into an ergonomic position. Furthermore, for the desktop footprint, measuring at 293 by 103 centimeters, the Huntsman Mini takes up 51% less desktop real estate than the Huntsman Elite while still offering 60% of the keys. This form factor is ideal for similar setups where desk space is a premium and also makes bringing it with you around a lot easier. And even though it is small without the function roll, home cluster, and numpad, the Huntsman Mini still offers all of these inputs via pressing a combination of keys with the FN key like when using a laptop so you don't lose any functionalities. And as an additional feature to help users locate these inputs, the leading edges of keys with secondary functions are also labeled, and when the function key is pressed, they will also light up in white. On top of that, you also don't have to worry about that these labels will get rubbed off over time or become shiny over time from plastic degradation, as each key on the Huntsman Mini now comes fitted with Razer's more premium double shot PBT keycaps out of the box. These slightly textured keycaps are designed for greater durability that will never degrade to a shiny finish or have their labeling wear off with intense use. Not that there's anything wrong with the regular keycaps, but I mean, I personally haven't rubbed off any key from the regular keycaps on a Razer keyboard. <laughs> and as for the switches themselves, the linear optical switches used in the Huntsman Mini is the biggest change or difference compared to all previous keyboards in the Huntsman's product family. According to Razer, the linear optical switches used in this keyboard are enhanced and improved particularly in the acoustics of the switch when you bottom out the keys. They are equipped with sound dampeners which greatly reduces the sound and eliminates that annoying pinging sound that many users of the linear switches version of the Huntsman Elite are experiencing. Here's a quick sound demo. Aside from the acoustics difference, the revised linear optical switches are still very fast and actuated by light just like the first version. They now also require slightly more force to actuate, 8 grams more to be exact, than the linear switches on the Huntsman Elite and the Huntsman 10 Keyless Edition, and have a slightly 0.2mm longer actuation distance. Other than that, most of the keyboard is made from quality plastic with an aluminum plate topping the base similar to the Huntsman Elite. Though, I would like to point out here that the Huntsman Elite for some reason feels slightly more premium and more sturdy to the touch compared to the Mini. But that is not to say that the Huntsman Mini feels cheap or anything, so maybe it's just a personal point of view. Moving on to the underside on that base cover, the inscription for Gamers by Gamers are patterned across it, which is a very nice touch in my opinion. 
There are also two feet that flip out to angle the Huntsman Mini at either 6 degrees or 9 degrees like the full size versions. On the inside, the Razer Huntsman Mini also features 5 onboard memory profiles for you to store your settings like the Huntsman Elite with the addition of 7 chroma RGB presets saved on its onboard memory so you can change the RGB lighting effects when using it with a computer without installing Razer Synapse. And all of this is connected to your computer via a detachable USB-C cable, which can also be switched out for your own cable if you prefer so. Now, moving on to my usage feedback of the Huntsman Mini from the past 3 months. I'll start with what I disliked this time, because initially, I really really regret having spent $130 on this keyboard. So, being the first time that I have ever spent an extended period of time trying to use a 60% keyboard for everything, I honestly have to say that it was quite a frustrating and difficult experience during the past three months. Um, how should I put this? Okay, so what I mean is that as a 60% keyboard, the minimalist aesthetics is great, but as a person who uses the arrow keys and the home cluster keys very often for productivity tasks, the muscle memory learning curve to memorize and get used to the new locations of where these keys are now located is quite steep. Maybe it's just me, but I think that this is probably due to how Razer designed their shortcut positions being slightly unconventional, making those keys difficult to locate. So every time I need to use these keys, there will be a long pause in my workflow for me to check where they are located. And also, working in the dark was almost impossible as the keys that light up when the FN key is pressed only lights up the alphabet and not the labels on printed on the edges. And even after 3 months, I sometimes still hit the wrong shortcut keys once in a while. So truth be told, there were a couple of times where I switched back to the full size Huntsman Elite during this review period just so that I can get my work done more smoothly without interruptions. And that's where my negative feedback ends. Now, when it comes to doing simple typing work, this keyboard is freaking awesome. The slightly increased actuation force of 8 grams might not seem much on paper, but coming from version 1 linear optical switches, these additional 8 grams made a big difference in reducing typos. Like seriously, a big difference. As for gaming with the Huntsman Mini, I would say it's near perfect for me. The smaller size allowed for easy repositioning of the keyboard to get a lot, get, get more comfortable posture with one hand during matches, and also freed up a lot of space on my mouse area. This is especially helpful when I play shooters and use a lower DPI settings on my mouse. And also because it is smaller, I can now easily bring along a fast opto mechanical switch keyboard to game with during my overnight business trips, and it can easily accommodate to all sizes of hotel tables. The PBT keycaps are also a lot easier to clean and resistant to the sweat and oil stains from my fingers and offer more traction so my fingers don't slip around and accidentally actuate other keys. So that was a big plus for me as my hands tend to get sweaty during intense gaming. So overall, the Razer Huntsman Mini performs just as well as the full size Huntsman Elite for most gaming scenarios with a little exception for games that need arrow keys where I am already accustomed to using my right hand to control the movement with those keys. But at the end of the day, I think I will most likely return to using the full-size Huntsman Elite because most of my productivity task relies on using those extra keys. As for the Huntsman Mini, it will be my new favorite travel gaming companion. At least until maybe when Razer refreshes their Huntsman 10 Keyless Edition with improved linear switches. So if you are someone who is absolutely certain that you don't need those extra keys and or are already using other products in the Razer ecosystem, then the Huntsman Mini Linear Switches version is an excellent keyboard with probably the fastest keyboard switches at this moment for $130. Albeit, that is that it is also worth mentioning that if you're not just fixed to the Razer brand, there are also a couple of other solid, some even better, performing 60% keyboards out there that are worth considering as well. So yeah, hope today's video could be helpful for you, and thank you as always for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it will help this channel a lot more than you know it, and I'll see you again in the next video.